Good evening, everybody. It is February 20th, can't believe that, 2017. I am Karen Batty, Senior Director with The Pampered Chef. And if you are on with us tonight or you're watching this recording, uh, welcome to A Closer Look. It means you're curious to learn a little bit more about the business. And so uh, get your pen and paper ready, because I definitely, as we go through the information, it will answer some questions for you. However, if you are like most people, it will also stimulate even more questions that it answers. And we want to make sure that by the time we're done, we've answered all the questions that you need so that you can make um, a good and informed decision for yourself about the business. All right, now I'm going to do a screen share. Now I'm, I'm old, so this is hard for me sometimes. So let me see. Woohoo! There it is. So excited about that. Okay. Yay. <laughs> it's very exciting when it works. I'm always surprised. Um, up until about a month ago, I would just hold the paper up to my screen and say, there, there's a screen share, but I'm actually getting fancy now and using PowerPoint. All right. So I'm just going to kind of give you some background information about Pamper Chef at any point along the way. If you've got questions, just haul them right out. Okay. Cause this is not, not particularly formal. Uh, this first screen that, that we're looking at, it kind of shows sort of the different things that, that bring people to Pampered Chef. A lot of people are in it because they want an additional stream of income. Show of hands, how many of you are interested because of money? Yeah, exactly. I think every hand went up. Okay, but there are a lot of different ways to make money. So why would you want to, um, you know, choose Pampered Chef? A lot of people love the flexibility. How many of you appreciate the flexibility here? Yeah, because you get to decide how many parties you do. You get to decide how you do those parties, whether they're live or virtual. Um, and you get to decide um, how many you do throughout the, day, the month and when you do them. You are your own boss. If you decide to join the Pampered Chef, you are your own CEO, okay? Um, and it is a lot of fun. I know that I always say there's a lot of ways to make uh, money out there, but not, I haven't found one that uh, is quite as fun as, as Pampered Chef. And um, another thing that's great about Pampered Chef is that they do make it easy to be successful. Not only do you get the products in your kit when you get a kit, but you then, it's almost like a mini franchise. And you get the backing of this amazing company. And at the bottom right of your screen, that's our home office in Chicago. Actually, it's in Addison, Illinois. That is the distribution center. It also houses uh, everything Pampered Chef, not just our distribution center, but um, our training headquarters. Uh, there's test kitchens there. There's product development there. There's customer service there. It is the size of 10 football fields. Okay, and they are there to simply, you know, support us in, in what we do out here in the field. So if you decided to do Pampered Chef, yes, you're, you are your own CEO and you are in business for yourself. However, you are not by yourself. Everything you need to succeed, they're here with the training, the support, the, the recipes, the, the product information, all of that, which is fabulous. And another thing about the training, um, it is as flexible as the business itself. Um, if you decide to sign up, you have free access to uh, what's called PC University. Pamper Chef University is right on a special part of the website for consultants. It's, um, it's uh, called Consultants Corner. So if you go to the Pamper Chef website when you're a consultant, you get to sign into this secret part. It has all the training and support for us. And you are allowed to hop right on there any time of the day or night, so you can get the training that you need at a time that works for you, okay? So you can hop on there any time that you want. If it's two o'clock in the morning, you just signed up and you're so excited, you can hardly sleep, you could hop on to PC University and you know learn about our forged cutlery or our rock rock collection, anything you want. Okay, so any questions so far? I know. I have to play on. Was that a question or just a conversation in the background? We good? Okay. Now, um, one thing I want to mention about uh, the distribution center being in Chicago, that reminds me to, to kind of explain that we don't carry an inventory with Pampered Chef, which is great. So if you decide to become a consultant, you um, purchase a kit, but then you don't have to turn around and purchase thousands of dollars of worth of Pampered Chef products and store them in your garage or your basement um, and hope that you sell them. We go to parties, 
and, or whether they're live or virtual, and people can hop onto the website and place orders, or they hand it to us on a piece of paper if we're at a live party and we type them in. They go to the distribution center and the distribution center ships directly to either the host or the customer directly, not to us, the consultant. So not only do we not carry an inventory, we also do not sort and deliver our, um, our products, which is great. I would, I would do half the shows that I do now if I had to sort and deliver everything that I sold. Now, not only does this make it easy for us because we don't have to sort and deliver, uh, it also makes it very affordable for us to run a business because we don't have to spend thousands of dollars on inventory. It also means that we can sell anywhere in the US that we want. If you've got a family member out in California that wants to have a party, that's just fine. You can fly out and do it live. You can do it virtually. You can mail them catalogs to collect orders, whatever. The orders get typed into the computer. They go to the distribution center in Chicago, and they ship out wherever, wherever um, the products need to go. So it gives us great flexibility as to where we do our parties and how we do our parties, which is why it is so easy for us to, um, to sell online, to sell you know, uh, uh, through social media. Okay. Anybody wondering about money? A few people raised their hands. I think everybody raised their hands when I said, you know, anybody into this because they're looking for additional income. Okay. So this chart shows how we get paid. Now, um, hey, Colleen, I see you are unmuted. What do you yeah. think the, sh the national show average is with Pampered Chef? I know you've had a few parties in the past. Um, I would think between three and four hundred dollars. Well, that's a great guess, but actually, it's a little low. Six hundred and forty-one dollars wow. per party. That's the national show average, and you can see that we all start with a twenty percent commission. If you start at the bottom there of the of the commission scale, but as soon as we've sold more than seven hundred and forty-nine dollars in a month, which is about a show and a quarter, we're up to twenty-two percent. Once we've sold 1,250 or more, we're up to 23%. And 1,250, that's about two average parties. 2,500 puts us in a 24% commission bracket, and 4,000 gives us a 20 25% commission. And so we make anywhere between 20 and 25% when you're new. $640 show average is about $120 to $150 per party on average. And from there, you decide how many parties you want to hold in an average week. Okay. Do you, um, so if you want to do two parties a week, I always say in the beginning, go with a show, you know, if you want to do the math on like a $500 show average, you know, just to be on the safe side, if you're doing two of those a week, and uh, that's eight a month times a $500 show average, that's 4,000 in sales. 25% of that is a thousand dollars. So what would you guys do with an extra thousand dollars a month coming in? I know I would pay for my daughter's dance lessons. Yes. <laughs> dance lessons. I bet it would co probably cover a little bit more than that too, right? Yeah, you figure, yeah, you figure, yeah, 300 and something dollars every 10 weeks. There you go. Yep. So you have money left over. During the dance season and then she does cheerleading. Yep. Uh, she wants to start pageants. So. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. That would feed. So you, you could feed your pampered chef addiction as well as all your daughter's addictions, yeah. <laughs> addictions as well. There you go. I said for years I should just have my commission check direct deposited to, to all my kids' things, piano lessons, and this and that. Yes. How about you, Jessica? I see that you hopped on. Um, if you want to unmute for a minute, what would you do if you had an extra thousand dollars a month coming in from pampered chef? Oh, Jessica's still muted. Okay, we'll just have to wonder for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now the, the um, income opportunity does not stop there. It is actually limitless. Uh, it is not something I thought of when I was absolutely brand new. However, I certainly thought about it soon after I started. When at my very first Pampered Chef party, someone came up to me and said, you know, I've been looking for something to do 
um, after the baby's born, she was about eight and a half months pregnant at the party uh, and said, um, after this child is born, daycare is going to cost three dollars less an hour than I make. So um, she was looking for something else to do and decided that she wanted to sign on to my team. And I thought, oh my gosh. Um, anyway, if you would like to make a full-time income from a business that is definitely less than full-time hours, you can do that. Unlike corporate America, where you have to wait for someone to die or retire, you do not need to do that with Pamper Chef if you would like um, a promotion. You just say, hey, this is something that, that I would really like to work toward, and, and we will help you with that. Um, and you're out there anyway doing parties, whether they're live or virtual, you're probably going to meet people like you who are looking for additional income as well, and they can join your team. And um, so uh, as an average director, that's the first level of uh, management. It's an extra usually three to $500 a month. In, in your monthly income. And that's with just a team of five. And you know, if you start thinking, gee, this is really interesting information about, about how the business runs, if anybody comes to mind, usually people's first couple of team members are, are people they know. And um, there's something that you guys all have the opportunity to earn, it's called fast track uh, incentive. And if you become a director in your first 90 days of business, in addition to the income that you earn, Pampered Chef gives you a $500 cash bonus. And uh, you wouldn't be the first person on our team to earn it. We've had others. Um, and then up to a $2,000 cash bonus. Okay. So any, any questions that people have thought of so far? Okay, then let's talk about why you might want to give this business um, some serious consideration now versus later. There are a few things. Right now, this month, if you decide you want to sign up, Pampered Chef is offering a really, really, really sweet, sweet deal. You can sign up in the month of November. That can be right up until the end of the month. And as long as you submit 1,250 in sales in your first 30 days, which again is just a couple of average parties, then in addition to your commission, Pampered Chef is gonna give you $200. It says $200 toward products of your choice, but really it's called 200 Pampered Chef dollars. And Pampered Chef dollars are, you get these in addition to your commission. And since we consultants don't pay full price for our products, that, that those 200 PC dollars really turn into more like 250 to 300 dollars worth of product of your choosing, which is really great. So that's one reason why uh, February is a great time to give the business a try. But Colleen, you mentioned something earlier when we were chatting. You talked about new products. So if you decide, if you guys decide to sign, here we are. We're toward the end of February. And on March 1st, the new spring product line is is going to hit the market and if you have friends and family who have already been to pamper check parties well not to worry because they are going to want to come and see what's new okay so you'll have a lot of new products that they will have access to so they will want to come back which is great and also um, in in the pamper check world um, you know, a lot of times people think, oh, fall is a great time to be a consultant. And it is. But do you know that we call March and April the other fall? I mean, people think fall for obvious reasons because, you know, you think of the fall and everybody's baking because we've got holidays coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah, all that. And there's a lot of entertaining and gifts and things like that. But you think about what's around the corner from March and April. We've got Mother's Day. Mother's Day is kind of big in the Pampered Chef world. We've got Father's Day, graduations, weddings. And when people graduate, they often move out. So there's you know, a lot of housewarmings and things like this. So that's why we call March and April the other fall. And you would be starting right at the beginning of that season, which is fantastic. Plus there's some other things that are going on behind the scenes uh, that make this year, really tremendous for Pampered Chef. Uh, last year in 2016, we set a new record for sales as a company. Um, the economy's better. Here where I live in New Hampshire, unemployment rate is about three and a half percent. 
but for a long time, our unemployment rate has been low, but people haven't been able to get the greatest jobs on the market. But now this year, that it really things are changing. People are, you know, finally, uh, college graduates are graduating, actually getting jobs in their field, and people are actually getting better jobs. And I was reading an article, and it was talking about the housing boom that they're expecting across the nation, because finally people are employed. And for a long time, all the 20-somethings and even early 30-somethings were living at home. And now all of a sudden, this bottleneck of 12 years worth of people who used to be moving out uh, on their own, they're finally able to move out. They um, have kitchens. They're going to have new places, new apartments, new houses. Um, and they're going to have kitchens to fill, which is great for us. Also, we have a new CEO in the company, and she's been uh, doing a lot of things behind the scene that make um, our ability to, to have people order easily through uh, non-typical settings before most of our customers ordered through live cooking shows. But now um, we are making a lot of technology advances, making it easy for people to order um, other places and other ways. So now actually at an average live cooking show, more than half of the orders are coming in online from people who aren't able to attend the party. So we're getting a lot more of our sales um, through um, social media. And we are aligned to be right, right, um, right on that wave. Plus, cooking trends, everything, that's all very in. Cooking is in. Cooking healthy is in. Farm to table is in. So not only does that make our products in high demand, it also makes the um, things that we can teach people through our cooking demonstrations, um, it puts that also in high demand. And when I was thinking 20 years ago of getting into direct sales, I thought to myself, what you know what's going to give me the largest customer base of all the things out there i could sell what has the largest customer base and certainly every single person eats i always say that people who love to cook love our products people who hate to cook adore our products because we have things that will get people in and out of the kitchen in half the time and so very often it's the people who who don't like cooking at all who are our greatest customers all right, so any questions? Is that anything we've covered so far? All right, anybody curious about, okay, so if I decided to do this, where would I even start? Well, it's easy. The first step is uh, pick out which kit you want. And has anybody checked out our kits? They're pretty awesome. On the far right, you'll see our basic starter kit. It's $109, and it's over $450 worth of our hottest selling products. Show of hands, how, much, how many of you spend more than $109 in the grocery store on an average week? Yeah, right? And what do you have to show for it four days later? Not a whole lot. <laughs> if you're like me, you got the heels of bread and some ketchup, <laughs> okay? But forever and ever and ever, if you order our, our starter kit for $109, you're going to have $450 worth of Pampered Chef products to enjoy in your kitchen for now till the end of time. Now, then there's a deluxe kit. I don't know if you can tell by the picture, but that deluxe kit has a rock crock in it. So if you're thinking you like to rock crock, well, for maybe $10, $20 more than it costs to, to purchase a Rock Rock, you can have the deluxe kit. It's $159, it's $650 worth of Pampered Chef products. Now when I was new, I was looking at the kits, they weren't even this good, and I thought to myself, even if I'm not any good at this, huh, I'm still gonna have myself a kitchen full of Pampered Chef products, how badly could it go? I'll try out a couple shows with my family and friends, and if it doesn't work out, oh well. Anybody wondering, oh my gosh, what if it doesn't work out? Anybody nervous about that? Because the way I look at it is, there's no failure here. If you try it out and it's not your thing, you haven't failed. You've maybe successfully discovered it's not your thing. And that's okay. You can walk away after a few shows. It's not your thing. And you're going to keep all your products and you keep all your commission. Make sure you redeem your $200 worth of free products before you go. And that's all right. It's legal, moral, and ethical. You're not signing your life away to, to give Pampered Chef a try. You're just deciding if you want to try out a few shows. And we are here to help. 
okay? We don't just pat you on the back and after you buy a kit and say, hey, good luck. We hope those shows work out for you. You know, we're going to be here to work with you. And then there's the ultimate kit. Oh, boy, they didn't have that when I was a kid. $249, $1,000 worth of products. You get our grill pan and press. You get our rock rock. You get a large round stone with handles and forged cutlery and a piece of cookware. I mean, you name it, it comes in that kit. It is so nice. Um, but if that's not in your budget, you don't need it to succeed. But if you've got $249, you don't know what to do with because you got a tax return coming in. This is a mighty fine way of using it. Now, no matter what kit you get, not only do you get the products that you see in the kit, but you get an apron, you get catalogs to help you get started, order forms, survey slips, all the training materials that you need. Um, and you get access to that part, that part of the Consultant's Corner that I was telling you about, that part of the website called Consultant's Corner. There'll be more recipes than you can make in five lifetimes, all the training materials, all the support materials, you have free access to that. Um, you also get a free personal website for 90 days. After that, if you decide you want a personal website, um, it's $11 a month, but you get it free for 90 days. So you can really try out this business for 90 days and you really do not need to spend anything beyond the kit. I always say if you can go to the seat cushions of your couch, lift them up and find a fistful of pens, between that and what comes in the kit, you should be all set. As long as you are patient and don't feel like you need everything right away. Okay, so step number one is order your kit. Step number two, is choose a kickoff date. Now, um, we, I always recommend that you start with, with a launch show or a kickoff party, okay? Um, and Colleen, we're already talking, you already have a party lined up in March, so that could be your launch party. And here's what we suggest, um, here's what I suggest you do with the launch party. First, you come up with a huge list of everybody you know who eats, okay? And from that, you, you come up with your top 20 list of people you know pretty well. You know, maybe you got five or six coworkers, you got a, maybe a half a dozen family members, maybe you've got four or five neighbors that you know really well. Anyway, you come up your, with your top 20 list and you reach out to those people personally. You let them know you're getting started with Pampered Chef and you're, you're looking for a few people who wanna get, get some friends together for a fun cooking show so you can practice with them. These cooking shows can be live cooking shows or they can be virtual cooking shows. Now, if you reach out to 20 people to ask them if they'd like to um, earn some free products and get some friends together, how many of those 20 do you think will say, sure, I'll have a party? Not a 20, probably a 20. like half. Mm, that would be nice, Colleen. And you know what, that's what most people say. Or 15. Or 15. Or, or 15? Statistically, three. What? Yeah, I know. Now, if you get more than three, celebrate. It doesn't mean, oh, I have lousy friends. It just means some of them are going to be too busy that month to have a party. Some of them, their houses are going to be like in the, you know, in the middle of uh, construction or they're moving or, or whatever. So statistically, three out of 20 will say, yeah, absolutely. And you know what? If three out of 20 say yes, do a happy dance because you are you're gonna be in really good shape. Because now you've got 17 other people who, that you know pretty well who are feeling a little guilty because they just said, no, I can't have a party. Um, but then you can say to them, well, there's another great way that you can help me get my business off the ground. I am having a launch party for my business. You know, let them know what the date is. And you say, do you think you could maybe come and bring two or three people that I don't know that well? Because I'd really like to get the word out about my business beyond my family and friends right away. Now, you, they just told you no that they weren't going to have a party. They are going to be so relieved that you're not twisting their arm and that, uh, oh, sure, if they're free that day, they will, they, a lot of them will say, absolutely, I can bring my mom and my sister, and oh, I've got a coworker who loves to cook. Statistically, of those, 17, of those 17 remaining people, a little less than half will say, yes, I can come to that party and I'll bring somebody. So that's maybe seven people. So now you have 10 people left. They said to you, no, I can't have a party. Oh my gosh, I'm not a around for your launch party. I'm so, so sorry. And then you can say to them, well, what do you think about taking a catalog around for a few days to see if anybody you know wants anything? Or maybe you want to try out one of our new virtual parties on Facebook. And about half of them, because now they feel really guilty for saying no to you twice about these other things, about half of them statistically will say yes to either a virtual party or a catalog party. 
And of the five remaining, they'll, a few, they'll, they'll be like, but please, I'd love to place an order. <laughs> okay. And then after that, so you take a few days to reach out to your top 20 people. And after that, you just invite everybody under the sun to your launch party. People young, people old, people who love to cook, people who hate to cook, people close by, people far away, you invite them all. Men, women, you name it, you invite them. If they have a mouth, if they eat, you invite them. Okay? Um, and then you'll probably get a few bookings from your launch party. So you get, so then here's what you're looking at for an investment. Let's say you go with the middle kit, it's $159. You're getting $650 of products worth um, in that kit. Okay, so, um, and at your kickoff party, let's say you add $140 in free products because you're the host. But now you've got your parties that you lined up plus your kickoff party, that's four more parties. And I use the $500 show average instead of a $641 show average. And then I added in some virtual parties and catalog shows. Now I gotta be honest with you because I don't wanna you know, set, the, set you up for disappointment. Catalog parties, virtual parties have a tendency to be a little bit lower in the sales because when people are there to use our products with their own hands, eat the, the recipe, the, the chicken that we made in the rock rock, oh my goodness, the sales tend to be a little bit higher. So I've gone with about a $350 um, average for the virtual and the catalog parties. And um, excuse me, $300 show average there plus your um, $200 in bonus products. So if you just do that much and then decide you don't want to do this, you're looking at nearly $2,000 in cash and products just to put your toe in the water and see if it's for you. Okay. Now, if it's not for you, like I said, it's not failure. It's successfully discovering perhaps this isn't your thing. But I will tell you, most people say, wow, this is pretty, pretty cool. And they usually stay on. And you can stay on at whatever pace works for you. You can do a couple of parties a month, or you could do five parties a week. And as a trainer, I'm not your boss. I am here to say to you, what would you love to have happen with your business and to help you get it there? But I'm not here to dictate to you how many parties you do. It is entirely up to you. But um, yeah, it never hurts to give the business a try. I don't think I have ever had anybody in 20 years say, oh, I wish I never tried it. Everybody's happy to have a little extra cash in their pocket and, and uh, products in their kitchen. And one of my favorite quotes, a year from now, you wish you had started today. When I look back on my life, I'm not that old, but I'm not that young either. When I look back at my life, um, if I have any regrets, it's usually things I didn't do. It's usually, oh, I wish I had given it a try, or I wonder what if. And I always say, you know, if you had a child who came to you and say, Mom, you know, I'd love to take violin lessons, but I'm not sure I'd be any good, would you say to them, oh, then don't try. You should never try anything new unless you're absolutely sure it's going to go well. Don't go out of your comfort zone and try anything new. No, of course not. You know, you'd say, give it a try. Practice, you know, give it a good shot. But if it turns out, you know, you don't like the violin, you don't have to play it for the rest of your life just because you decide to give it a try once. You might start playing the violin and then you might hear the cello and say, I think that might be even a better fit for me. And that's okay. And same thing here. So, so I always say channel, channel that uh, inner, inner child and, and encourage them to try something new. Okay, so I'm going to stop the screen share here. Okay. So, um, any questions? If you guys want to unmute, that'd be great. Any questions? So now you actually answered most of them on, with that PowerPoint. So. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, Maria, how about you? Any questions? She's muted again. <laughs> well, I, oh, I didn't go. want all the noise. <laughs> That's okay, I appreciate that. Um, now that I've gone through that bit of information, um, any questions that you've got from, from what you've heard so far? Um, I think they're great prices on the kits, but do they ever have um, specials on the kit? I know they have that $200 extra thing right now, but... Um, they never just discount the cost of the kit that I know of. However, uh -huh. 
if you have a party first, let's say you decide um, you want to host a, you know, host a party, either a live party or a virtual party, you can earn what we call kit credit. Okay, so you are allowed, as a host, you can take either $25 or $50 of what you earn for free, and you can put it toward any of the kits. Okay. Oh, so, I didn't know that. That's a good idea. Yep, so a $300 show gives, is, someone help me, <laughs> is that 55 and free? Because <laughs> a $200 show is 20 and free, a $300 party is, uh, I don't know, I can't remember, 35 and free? It's 35. 35, okay, so you'd need a $400 party to be able to take 50 put, to put toward the kit. But again, the national show average is 641. So a $400 party, you could put um, $50 toward the kit, $109. Now it's only $59 to start. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a good. Yeah, you can definitely. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, Colleen, on a scale of one to 10, one being, yeah, I don't want anything to do with this. Uh, never in a million years or 10 being okay where's the website how do I order my kit kind of where are you on the on the I'm probably more meaning eight. Towards a si no not an eight because <laughs> <laughs> like I want all the freebies right now just because um you know and, and it's you probably get this a lot my spouse needs to be on board it's just that finding that extra time, you know, um, because he'd be responsible for some of that. You know, if I want to go do a party at a house, he's got to take on that role. And he works 17, 18 hour days. Ah, okay. So, you know, so from Saturday, how Sunday. How like, many kids do you have? Uh, two. And they, their ages? Uh, she's seven and my other one's 16. And he's not home on the weekends. Most weekends he's gone to his real dad's house, so um, mm -hmm. close to my husband is fake dad. <laughs> <laughs> so just something to consider. Yeah. Um, there are there are consultants who do two and three parties per month, but an extra hundred fifty dollars per party that's an extra four hundred fifty dollars a month. And I heard you say dance lessons were three something. Yeah. So yeah. Three parties a month could pay for that. Yeah. And you can, um, I'll, I'll have, pretend I'm blocking your daughter's ears. She yeah. can go with you to your parties. If you do a party like on a Sunday or a Saturday afternoon, she could go and be your helper. Yeah, my little prep cook. Or like I went to a party. I remember going to a party at Kathy Harrington's house and your son came along and he was your dishwasher. Oh, I, I did 10 years worth of shows. I never went alone. I miss them. I'm like, where, where, where's my dishwasher? Yeah. Um, and uh -huh. by the way, <laughs> I did um, PAY my kids. Of course, she's pretty smart, so she probably knows what I said. And I wrote it off as a tax deduction. So I just put that out there for you to consider. Yeah. And really, at this point, all you're deciding is, do I want to try out a few shows with family and friends? So let's say you do your kickoff party on the 17th and two or three of your friends want to schedule parties. Mm -hmm. You can try it out and see how it works for your family. And one of the things that I said to my husband mm -hmm. when I was new, because I wasn't sure this was going to work either, because I was worried about, yeah, he was going to now be in charge of the bedtime routine, homework, all this yeah. kind of stuff. So I told my husband, how about if I just do it for 30 days? I'll try out a few shows and then we'll sit down together after 30 days. My husband was concerned this was gonna be a money pit. He was concerned there were gonna be all kinds of hidden costs. Yeah, that's so, what my husband's concerned. Yeah. What is this gonna run you? Yeah, and it's not gonna, if, if you have self-discipline, it won't cost you anything. <laughs> if you feel like you yeah, want like, every product under the sun yeah. on day one, uh, I will. Yeah. I will do my best to talk you it's out of it. Not like, and it's not a pyramid scheme like some of those other products. That's no. another thing. My family. No, but here, oh. I'm going to jump in and add one thing that is a benefit no one told me about. I'm going. I'm becoming a really great cook, ah. <laughs> which means my family eats really well now. Like they're like, "Are you cooking? Because if you're cooking, I'm coming over." <laughs> and I see some of the stuff you post. It looks fabulous. Yeah. So that's another benefit because you got to try everything out, you know? Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't want to go to someone's house and serve a chicken fajitas, you know, without having my family try it first. Yes. Right. Exactly. You also so they, get, there's a benefit there. Yeah. And uh, when you're practicing Pepper Chef recipes, those ingredients are a tax deduction. So 
Oh, those are things yeah. that I didn't know about. Right. So yeah. what, what I said to my husband was, honey, how about if I try this out for 30 days? We'll sit down. And if we both aren't happy with the way it's going after 30 days, I'll stop. Even if I'm happy and you're not happy with it, if it's not working for us as a family, I'll stop. And so, and I said, and I promise I won't spend any money except the cost of the kit. So he said, all right, well, all right, give it a try. And here I am 20 something years later. Because you know what, you're not, you're not gonna really know if this is for you and your family, unless you try out some shows. It's kind of like trying on shoes in a store. Mm -hmm. You can look at a pair of shoes and go, wow, they, they, they look so comfortable. They're adorable. They just look totally like me. I wonder if they fit. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. And you can sit there and look at those shoes forever. As soon as you put them on and walk around, you know almost immediately, right? So anyway, I just encourage you to think about that because I know you've been thinking about the business for yeah, years. I met you. Right? So, and so maybe just having a talk with him to see, hey, what if I just try out a few shows in 30 days? Yeah. And if it doesn't work, yeah, for so us as a good are easy peasy, you know. What? <laughs> There's another little oh, Maria's got her little one there, too. Hi. So, Maria. Hi. So, <laughs> so, Maria, on a scale of one to ten, kind of where are you on the, on the, the spectrum? Well, oh, I go, I'm sorry. Go see Papa. <laughs> see, it's a family so, business. Um, yeah, I, I know. Um, <laughs> these are our grandchildren that we're raising. We have three. So, oh, you got your hands full. We used to, yeah, we used to be empty nesters, but no more. <laughs> so, um, but that isn't in a way that hinders me, but that is one of my reasons why I want to do things on YouTube and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I would say I was an eight of interest, but not in starting yet because mm -hmm. I actually have a couple things I need to pay that my husband's not going to pay. And, and I have some projects in the works that I'm doing to try and get those paid. Mm -hmm. And one of them would be something like this. I would have to earn my own money to get, a kit. I'm not, I'm like, I just can't use his money. He barely makes enough to pay the bills. So, yep. yeah. so, but I am interested because I love the products and I think it would go really, I sell local um, seasoning. So I think it would go well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would probably tie in nicely to that. So you might yeah. want to, um, you might want to talk with Lorreen about uh, getting a party set up that could at least be a, a kickoff party. So you can reserve kit credit. So at the time of your party, right you can reserve that kit credit for, I believe, up to six months. So you can set that okay, that's good. Because we have a party already scheduled. We just had one, but we have another one scheduled for a, a, a bit in the future. But maybe yeah. I'll do another one, Lorraine, if I could start earning some kit money. That would be cool. Yeah, so you could set aside up to $50 of kit credit. That could be your goal, you know, to get up to a $400 party. So you can reserve $50 yeah. of kit credit. And then, mm -hmm. um, then we'll talk because I got some other other ideas that might be able to help you. Some people have sold some things on eBay to pay for a kit. Some people right. have um, collected um, some outside orders that, you know, uh, just to kind right. of an extra little boost to the, the kit. But we can, we can definitely talk because if you reserve the kit credit, then you're really only looking at $59. So it's really, yeah. you know, a little bit of brainstorming. So. Of course, we all want the larger kit. <laughs> Um, but you know, when you have that party with Lorreen, you're going to be the host. So you'll get the free stuff that hosts get. So you can add to your kit gotcha. that way. And then, I mean, then, I mean, if we were able to help brainstorm, uh, it doesn't sound like timing wise is going to work for you before the end of this month, but that would be an extra right. million dollars. But, uh, but you don't need the big kit. I started many, they, the, this new kit just came out about six months ago. So there are a lot of people mm -hmm. doing the business without it. Yes, everybody wants the big kit, but really, the yeah, um, there are plenty of products in any of those three kits to really get the ball rolling and and to do it well. So wanting and needing two different things, right? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> and the the sooner you can get started, the sooner you can earn money, and mm -hmm. we also earn free free products in the first three months of your business. So. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, if you can get started in that March or April timeframe, 
Um, so that, that, which we, like I said, we call it the other fall, you know, as people are planning ahead, Mother's Day graduations, weddings, a lot of people are um, engaged. I've got a couple of um, new leads for um, gift registries and bridal showers and things like that. So um, yeah, just- and we're, and we're just coming out with a registry. Right, Mark first. So oh, for really? weddings or baby showers, do well, we I thought, it? I thought you already did that, but maybe people just have parties and say it's for their registry. Right. Yes, people would, would um, host parties and have it be a bridal shower show. Now we have official yeah. gift registry, which makes it super easy and-, and Very nice. Much more, for, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a great add-on. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, any other questions before we wrap things up? Okay, so Maria, um, I'll, I'll be messaging, messaging Lorene with my other little ideas on how to, um, how to uh, creative ways to pay for the kit. So don't put it out of your mind entirely because we've got a few other things up our sleeves that we can offer you, so. And Colleen, no. keep talking. Um, Colleen, sleep on it. Give it some thought. Talk to your husband. You've got the party coming up in March, so we've got time to decide. You know whether you just want to be a host or whether you think <laughs> and she'll be there to help us out. So yeah, I think I like that idea that you gave me about having the kids helping out, and he won't yeah. be hundred percent tied into this. Right. Uh, also, my husband has a very very expensive hobby in my garage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the more we're talking and I overheard the other lady say something about her husband doesn't want to have to pay for it. She wants, he wants his money to go for the bills. I can definitely use that to my advantage and say, Hey, your hobby costs huh? me. My yes. hobby can make me money. Mm -hmm. you know, that'll leverage me to kind of get him on my side. Right. Making money, and I'm going to be getting things for my family. So, <laughs> and like I said, you know, you're not deciding. Do you want to do this for the next five years? You're deciding. Do you want to do it for 30 days to see, to see if the shoes are a good fit? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs>